Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about what is the step-by-step -step process for upgrading to VMware vSphere 8.0.x. The reason to mention 8.0.x means recently VMware released 8.0 update 1 and latest version 8.0 update 2. So this process applicable for any latest version of 8.0. So before jumping to the actual update step-by-step -step process, let's understand the VMware vSphere 8.0 upgrade paths. So nowadays, most of the customer organization already upgraded to 6 series, 6.5, 6.7, and 7 series. But some still there is a chance some organization may running with old version VMware vSphere 5.x. Just in case if the any customer is still using vSphere 5.x old version, and the destination if they're planning to migrate to vSphere 8, officially as per VMware, it's not supported. And 6.0 and 6.5 version, any of the customer environment planning to upgrade to 8.0, this path also by default, it's not supported with a direct upgrade. Okay, and if we have a customer environment running with the 6.7 version and destination we are planning for 8.0 or latest version 8.0 update to, it is direct upgrade is supported. And similarly, 7.0 and destination version 8.0 or any latest version of 8.0 update to, it's supported from 7.0 to 8.0 upgrade path, okay? And for the first two scenarios, what VMware recommended is, if we have a 5.x or 6.0 or 6.5, do not have a direct upgrade path to 8.0. One or more interim upgrade will be required. That means if we have a 6.0, minimally we have to upgrade to 6.7. If we have a 5.x, first we have to upgrade to 6 series and then 6 series to either 6.7 or 7. Any of these two version only, it's supported to direct upgrade. Okay, so what is the difference of one or more interim upgrade will be required to upgrade means I will show you in the following slide. If we notice the same slide, let's say what is the VMware vSphere upgrade path from version 6.x, 7.x to the latest version. 6.x means it's applicable to 6.0, 6.5, 6.7 or any latest patches. 7.x means 7.0, 7.0, update 1, update 2, update 3 and so on. And 8.0 dot x means 8.0 update 1 8.0 update 2 that's the reason just to avoid confusion i just mention as x okay any of the subsequent updates let's let me start explain from top to bottom if you see as we understand from previous slide if we have a 7.0 series in our customer environment or 6.7 series vmware says it's directly supported to upgrade to vsphere 8.0 series and that is the first option. It's a direct upgrade. Suppose if the customer environment running with the 6.5, we have to first do a 6.7.u3 minimally. If we do minimally this version, it allows to upgrade to 8.0. And if the customer environment has 6.0.x, here also, <coughs> excuse me, we have to upgrade to 6.7u3, update 3 and then only we can upgrade directly to 8.0. And if the customer environment running with the 5.5, first we have to go to 6.5 u3 update 3 version then subsequent upgrade is 6.7 u3. From 6.7 u3 we can directly upgrade to 8.0. And even same, same like 5.5, even 5.0 also, first minimally it's supported for 6.0 update 2. From update 2, we can do the subsequent upgrade as a 6.7 U3 and followed by 8.0 upgrade. So this is the upgrade path we have to follow. But I I think most of the customers already migrate to 6 series or 7 series. So it will be a straight away upgrade if they have a 6.7 and 7 series. Only this scenario is applicable if any customers running with less than the 6.7 or 7.0 versions, we should follow this interim updates as well, okay? Hope you understand this point. Now, let me start explaining the VMware vSphere upgrade step-by-step -step process. So before jumping to the step-by-step -step process, let's understand the vSphere vCenter server 
the overall infrastructure architecture. Let's, for our easy understanding, I took the three ESX host. We, we may use in the real environment a number of ESX hosts. Just for our easy understanding, I took the example of three ESX hosts. Each host running on a hardware. Okay, we can use any hardware. One example is HP DL380 Gen 11 server. So we all our ESX hosts running on HP TL380 Gen 10 or Gen 11 models. On top of ESX host, we can create multiple virtual machines. But to manage multiple ESX hosts, we require a vCenter server. vCenter server, in short form, we also call it as VCSA, vCenter server appliance. But vCenter server appliance, it allows to manage multiple ESX host and virtual machine. But when it comes to upgrade, we have to recommend to upgrade first to vCenter server and then followed by ESX host upgrade and then virtual machines upgrade. This is the actual sequence. So let me show you the steps. So as I mentioned, first we have to upgrade vCenter and the second step is ESX host upgrade. Let's say we have a three ESX or more than three ESX host. If we have a 300 ESX also, same procedure. First we have to complete the vCenter upgrade, then followed by complete all of our ESX host upgrade. Either we can start the ESX host upgrade, first the staging host upgrade, and followed by production ESX host upgrade. Once all the clusters ESX hosts are upgraded successfully, then we can start with a virtual machines upgrade. And within a virtual machines also, we have a virtual machine tools need to be upgraded first and followed by virtual machines hardware version upgrade to latest version. Okay, and VMware tools also, some virtual machines running with Windows. So we have to upgrade VMware tools on Windows machines. And for when it comes to Linux machines, some machines, they have a default OS level open source VMware tools. That scenario, when we are doing a Linux OS patching, it will also cover the VMware tools. But some scenarios, organizations may use external VMware, VMware tools. That scenario, it recommend to upgrade those VMware tools as well. And once VMware tools are Upgrade finished, we have to go with a virtual machine hardware version as well. And and the another option is vSphere VMFS upgrade. VMFS means virtual machine file system. This is only when the customer is already using VMFS data stores because VMware providing a multiple storage options. Either we can use VMFS data store using FC SAN, iSCSI SAN, or we can use NFS data store. Suppose if you are using NFS, we have to upgrade NFS file system. If we are using VMFS, VMFS file system needs to be applicable. That's that's the reason I mentioned as if applicable. So some scenarios, customers may use vSAN also. If they are using vSAN, the vSAN should be the latest one. The license needs to be updated when we are going for a latest version. That's the reason the final point is license. Because if the customer is using 7 series, 7 series to upgrading to 8 series, that means the license also needs to be upgraded for vCenter, ESX host, and storage level. If any additional advanced features, if you are using in vSAN, the specific vSAN license also needs to be updated. So, this is the five key steps when we are planning to upgrade to vSphere 8 environment. And there will be a, some additional consideration. It may be vary from one organization to another organization. Depends on the organization infrastructure size. Some organization, they may have a multiple V centers and N number of ESX host and this host also running in a different sites. So that time, slightly there may be a, some additional considerations. So with interest of our time, I will just give you one quick example. Let's say, what is the step-by-step -step process for upgrading to VMware vSphere 8.0. As we know, first we have to start with a, we have to verify the hardware compatibility within our existing infrastructure. Once our hardware compatibility validation is completed, then we can start with a upgrade or migrate vCenter. Why we are giving as upgrade or migrate means, suppose in our vCenter 6.7 series, we have a Windows flavor of vCenter also available. If you are using Windows vCenter, VMware recommend to migrate it into a appliance flavor because from vCenter 7 and vCenter 8 onwards, there will be no Windows flavor. We should recommend to use appliance vCenter only, VCSA. VCSA means vCenter server appliance. So there is be no Windows. If the customer, any customer still using Windows vCenter, VMware recommend to migrate to appliance. Though that appliance available is a embedded mode is 
is the only supported configuration okay and apart from vcsa upgrade once upgrade is completed there is a some plugins are used that means suppose if you are using one example is hpe one view that is one plugin or if you are using any storage level plugins those storage level plugins are using within our vcenter vmware recommend to update the plugins so this is one of the additional consideration in if any environment they are using a external plugins if the customer not using plugins that's a plugins used is no then we can go with your post install actions suppose if you update the plugins other if there is any other plugins also need to be updated then only we can go to post install actions this is the it covers the first step and second step as i mentioned update the esxi host so esxi host we may have not only three we have a number of esx host depends on the organization infrastructure size once all esx hosts are completed then we can go with a upgrade virtual machines so upgrade virtual machine means there are two key steps one is vmware tools and then followed by virtual machine hardware version once the third step is completed we can go with a fourth step upgrade vmfs volumes that means some scenarios if the customer do not have vmfs volumes if they are using nfs version nfs version 3 vmware recommend to upgrade nfs version 3 to nfs latest version 4 okay that is also applicable in the fourth step and SA in vSphere 8.x licenses because the customer existing environment is n minus one licenses when we are going for a latest version 8 series we have to upgrade all our licenses with these five steps all our upgrade process will be completed but the practical step by step each consideration of vCenter upgrade ESX upgrade virtual missions and VMFS upgrade all this series of considerations I will cover in the later sessions okay hope you understand the high level overview of step by step process for VMware vSphere 8.0 upgrade okay so that's it thank you if you're watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the Grand Cloud Garage channel if you're already subscribed I appreciate all your support Bye for now.